This morning, why Wisconsin's attorney general says violent rhetoric in political discourse is part of a larger problem after the murder of a retired Juneau County judge. An early morning meeting scheduled for today to talk about the investigation into the Henry Vilas Sioux. And of course, we are watching the weather this morning and how it impacts your commute today, but any good weather doesn't last. The forecast coming up. Good morning, everyone. News 3 Now this morning starts with breaking news just into the newsroom that could impact your morning commute. A crash on Madison's west side this morning has a lot of police presence out there this morning. McKenna Alexander is live along Mineral Point Road with what we know so far. McKenna? Yeah, good morning to you. Right now, Gansler to D'Onofrio Road is still closed off. With people already having to pull U-turns and really get out of the way. So as you can see, it's still completely roped off by police tape. They've been out here for several hours now. The medical examiner has just arrived on scene in the last hour. Officers have placed evidence markers around that scene as well. You can see the tent placed near the bike lane. We have seen a small sort of vehicle. Not sure if it's a bike. We can see at least one wheel in the median. Now, our photographer did witness an individual being arrested and placed into a squad car around 4.30 this morning. Officers on scene tell me they were administering CPR on a victim, though that person's condition is still unclear right now. Now, we are staying on scene this morning, and we'll be keeping you updated right here on Channel3000.com and News 3 Now. And are reporting for us all morning. Thank you very much, McKenna. Okay, to our other top story this morning. In the wake of the targeted murder of a retired judge in Juneau County, State Attorney General Josh Call calling for a de-escalation of political rhetoric. Judge John Raymer was killed early Friday morning. The suspect, Douglas Udy, remains in critical condition after shooting himself. He had a hit list with him that included Governor Evers, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Judge Raymer, and other targets. Court records show Judge Raymer sentenced Udy to prison nearly two decades ago. Since then, Udy has been in and out of prison or jail and was last released on supervision two years ago. The DOJ is leading the investigation and now Attorney General Josh Call says he sees the murder as a troubling part of a larger trend. In general, there's been a troubling rise in violent rhetoric with respect to public officials. Um, with respect to threats that are being made towards public officials. Um, there's been a lot of calls to criminalize what is normal um, political activity. Um, and I think it's very important for, um, for everybody, but, but particularly for elected officials, for people who are in the public eye, uh, to make sure that, that the rhetoric they're using is uh, consistent with, with what they're facing. There's much we still don't know about what happened, such as how a convicted felon may have gotten a gun. Call says everyone on the suspect's list for targeting has been notified. Looking ahead in Juneau County, a candlelight vigil is scheduled for this weekend outside the county courthouse, honoring the life of Judge Raymer. It's scheduled to begin at 9 o'clock Saturday night. We have more information on that vigil, along with in-depth continuing coverage of this entire story. You can find all of that information up on channel3000.com. To Rock County now at 602 this morning, the Janesville Police Department says it has seized multiple firearms over the last few days. In total, nine guns have been taken off the streets in three <coughs> separate investigations. Police say in those investigations, five people were also arrested facing various charges. To the nation's capital now, the National Gun Violence Memorial is open now through June 11th. The installation includes more than 45,000 flowers to represent the victims of gun violence. 5,000 of them are orange to show the number of those deaths is increasing. Breaking overnight, multiple calls of shots fired on Madison's north side. It happened around 2 o'clock this morning on Moose Trail near Highway 113. Multiple callers reporting hearing four to five gunshots in that area. Police found no damage done from the shooting. This is still an active investigation at this hour, so if you know anything, you're asked to contact Madison Area Crime Stoppers. Switching gears now, let's check in with Chris Reese and your first worn weather, your certified most accurate forecast. Chris. Yes. Yeah, good morning. We're talking about an unsettled pattern across the upper Midwest, but today should be a fairly decent day for us. Area of low pressure, that's to the east. That brought all the rain yesterday. More disturbances back towards the west are going to bring rain later tonight into tomorrow. As long as we're in between systems right now, the expectation is that we stay dry. The rain that you see across parts of the Dakotas this morning, parts of western Minnesota, this will be the rain that moves in later on tonight, but it's got some drier air to fight. It's going to take a moment for it to really move into the state of Wisconsin. You had a couple of green 
blips showing up on the radar earlier this morning. Look at just how quickly those fell apart as they ran into the relatively drier air that we have in place. That being said, I'm not expecting any issues when it comes to your commute today. This right here is the Beltline at Mineral Point Road. Things are all smooth and fine for you. I'm going to give you the green light all day today when it comes to any weather related issues that could deter your commute. The weather should be just fine uh, and in your favor there. There it is. More sunshine showing now. Some of that cloud cover has pushed on out. We're at 52 dew points into the low 50s. The air is calm. Not a ton of wind blowing out there. 57 for Janesville. Juno, you're at 53. Good morning to Automa at 50. Platteville, you're in the mid 50s out there. Not wanting to wake up this morning, but you can do it. Trust us. Mid 50s pretty much for all of us here in southern Wisconsin. We've looked forward. We'll see more sunshine midday. This is large temperatures are still in the upper 60s around 70. We do top out into the low 70s for those highs later on this afternoon. Then we get towards 9 o'clock. Showers start to move in from the west. Showers really begin to develop on top of us, though, tomorrow morning. Watch the clock. This is 7. Rush hour gets going, and I expect showers to begin to form and push through right through the morning rush hour into late morning. By lunchtime, the general expectation is that the heaviest rain is to our east. Spotty showers and isolated thunderstorms develop behind that as we move into your Wednesday afternoon. Afternoon. Temperature is still going to top out into the upper 60s and at least close to that 70 degree mark. Still, it's going to be a good drink of water, perhaps, depending on just how heavy that rain is and how long it sticks around. We could be talking a quarter, half, three quarters of an inch of some rainfall. So, as we're really trying to eliminate the drought conditions, even the abnormally dry, we're on pace to do it. 76 by Thursday as we dry out. Another chance of rain by Friday with temperatures into the low 70s. Mid 70s Saturday and Sunday with sunshine. Any grad parties happening this weekend? The weather is on your side. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. 606 now, the Henry Vilas Zoo Commission is meeting this morning to talk about a report on an investigation into workplace culture. This comes after the Dane County Board approved a resolution last week to launch an independent investigation into the zoo over allegations of racism and animal mistreatment. Dane County Executive Joe Parisi had responded that he wanted a wider countywide investigation into the racial climate of Dane County workplaces. Today's meeting will go over an investigation from April along with the next recommended steps. It starts at 7.30 a.m. For local news now, the downtown building home to Paisan's restaurant is now being ordered to close for a third time due to structural issues. The city says the closure at 131 West Wilson Street comes after the building's owners, quote, failed to comply with conditions of occupancy occupancy previously established. The city already ordered the building's closure twice last year in September and December. The building's owners have filed a demolition permit to tear it down. The city's plan commission will meet on June 27 to discuss that demolition request. New this morning, Wisconsin-based department store Kohl's says it's in negotiations with a retail holding company to buy the retailer for $60 a share. That price tag value would put Kohl's at roughly $8 billion. Kohl's shares closed Monday at 42.12, giving the retailer a market value of about 5.4 billion. Well, June is Dairy Month, a time for Wisconsinites to appreciate the hard work of local farmers. According to the most recent stats from the State Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection, there are 1.28 million cows in Wisconsin. The dairy industry itself contributes $45.6 billion to the state's economy each year, with over 6,000 dairy farms. Of those 6,000, 95% are family-owned, something industry leaders are celebrating during the month of June. It is 6.08 on your Tuesday. Coming up, how a pilot shortage might be impacting what time you, or how much you pay, rather, the next time you book a trip. Plus, the former Badgers now on the 2023 College Football Hall of Fame ballot. Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $10.99, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. We're not just massage envy. We're also facials that get your skin glowing envy. We're talking, dang girl, you look good kind of envy. All right, tell me your secret and lunch is on me. <laughs> Impress all your coworkers envy. I bet she's on that Himalayan pepper cleanse. How does she do it envy? So what's going on with this? That's because a regular massage envy facial routine is an amazing way to look and feel better. For that, I still got it going on kind of a feeling. Must be good genes. 
Massage and Bee Facials, where better begins. Ubrel-V helps you fight migraine attacks. You do it all. One dose of Ubrel-V quickly stops migraine in its tracks within two hours. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Ask about Ubrel-V at any time, anywhere. Migraine medicine. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry-leading Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us, with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing offers from your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Get inspired. Tour 30 custom homes and see the newest trends. The Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns, is open daily, June 17th through 26th. Visit madisonparadeofhomes.com for tickets and more information. Oh, hey, it's me, Adrian. People choose Sano Bello because they can permanently remove your stubborn body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body changed a lot and I struggled with my stubborn body fat. For me, as a busy mom of two, when I discovered that Sano Bello had a mommy makeover package catered just for moms like me who don't have time to recover and need to get back in action, that's when I knew I needed to go to Sano Bello. Sano Bello removed my diet resistant fat cells permanently in just one visit. There was minimal downtime, local anesthesia, so I was actually awake during the whole procedure. I deserved my mommy makeover, and you do too. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation now and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-952-0466 or go to sonobello.com. You never know where adventure awaits. Like inside of every Kinder Joy. A yummy treat and dinosaur toy from Jurassic World Dominion in theaters June 10th. Kinder Joy. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. We're live with breaking news this morning out of Madison, out of West, out of West Madison near Mineral Point and South High Point Road. Now, right now, D'Onofrio and Ganza are still closed off. You can see behind me there's plenty of police tape still completely closing off this intersection. Cars are having to U-turn, so this may be impacting your commute this morning. The quick trip down the street is also closed. Employees tell me they are closed because of this crash, though they could not give me any more information. Officers have placed evidence markers around the scene, and as you can see, a tent has been placed near the bike lane. Our photographer did witness an individual being arrested and placed into a squad car about two hours ago. Officers on scene telling us they were administering CPR on a victim. That person's condition not confirmed. In the last hour, a medical examiner has arrived on scene. Now, we haven't gotten much more information as much is still left to be confirmed, but we are staying on scene this morning and we'll bring you the latest updates on News 3 Now as well as over on Channel3000.com. McKenna Alexander live on Madison's West Side this morning. McKenna, thank you. Well, if you are planning to travel this summer, you may want to book your tickets ahead of time. Dua Israar explains how a nationwide pilot shortage could affect your cost. Small and tucked away on French Island. I mean, I love being able to go in and out of here when I travel. The La Crosse Regional Airport is a local staple for travelers. Love it. Absolutely love it. Everybody's so friendly. It's hometown. It's absolutely incredible. But in a time of post-pandemic shortages, airports are no different. It's something that we're constantly adjusting to, but it's just part of the, the challenges of operating any business in 2022. La Crosse Regional Airport Director Ian Turner says COVID-19 sped up pilot retirements. Without pilots, the number of flights are decreasing. It's really unfortunate because people need to get out and be able to travel. Previously, three flights to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Chicago used to fly out of La Crosse. And this year, we are, uh, we're, we're sitting at two flights a day each to each of those destinations. Turner says plane tickets have also become more expensive because of the limited number of flights and increasing cost of fuel. I'm very confident that what we see right now is what we're going to see for the near future. Despite the rising costs of travel, La Crosse residents say they'll continue to use the airport. My kids live in Texas, and I need to have that availability. Turner says one way to make sure the airport stays in business is by flying local. As long as you're showing that there's demand here at the La Crosse Regional Airport, the, air the airlines will respond to that over anything else. Because during this shortage, every ticket counts.
Turner says the pilot shortage is expected to last at least three to five years. To the Packers now, we're back-to-back -back NFL MVP. Aaron Rodgers is expected to be at mandatory minicamp this week in Green Bay. Packers quarterback chose to skip the first two weeks of the OTAs, leaving the first team to Jordan Love. This comes after Rodgers hitting the winning putt in the match with Tom Brady last week. The Packers are set to start that minicamp today, and it will go until Thursday. A couple former Badgers on the 2023 College Football Hall of Fame ballot this year. One of the nominees currently rocks the red and white. That's UW's athletic director, Chris McIntosh. Alongside McIntosh is Troy Vincent. He's been on the ballot seven times already. After his time as a Badger, he went on to play 15 seasons in the pros, where he racked up five Pro Bowl selections. McIntosh and Vincent are two of 80 players on the ballot, as well as nine coaches. The class of 2023 will be announced early next year. Mark your calendars this morning. The Wisconsin volleyball team is getting a venue change for one night this fall. The Badgers playing in the Kohl Center for the first time in almost 25 years. It's happening September 16th. They're going to be hosting the University of Florida. The match is set for 7 o'clock. Ticket information has not been released yet, though. The Badgers open the 2022 season on August 26th at TCU with the home opener against Marquette on September 2nd. The Brewers were off Monday, but that didn't stop pitcher Brent Suter from inviting some kids to the American Family Field to read Binky Bandit. That's a children's book that he wrote. The book centers on the main character, Wally the Doodle, inspired by Suter's own mini doodle and master of Binky Banditry. The book was released last Friday. Sounds really cute. Yes, it does. Well, the return of the annual Strawberry Fest is set for the end of June in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. The festival is taking or took a two-year hiatus because of the pandemic. So festival goers can expect music, artwork, wine, and plenty of strawberry-related foods, including an all-you-can-eat strawberry breakfast. I'm intrigued. Organizers of the festival say they can expect tens of thousands to come to Cedarburg on June 25th and the 26th. Love a good Wisconsin festival. Mm. Love a good Wisconsin quick trip around the state. <laughs> the gas station is implementing its food services through its mobile app. So now you can select a store to order food and pick a time to pick it up. You can also have it delivered through DoorDash. Quick Trip offering free delivery through the rest of the month. To access these services, just download the Quick Rewards app. I am on my phone right now ordering a spicy chicken sandwich. Order two or three, or maybe one for everyone here in the newsroom. <laughs> it is that time, isn't it? It is that time. Stomachs are grumbling. All right, 617 is your time right now. Chris Reese keeping an eye on Doppler track this morning. You know, that was something new that I just learned about Quick Trip that really has changed the game for me. So I might have to go ahead and download that app. But we are tracking some showers across the upper Midwest this morning. But my expectation is that right here in Wisconsin, we should stay dry today. Showers across Minnesota really fighting some drier air falling apart in the process. At the same time, the other system from yesterday continues to move away. So some of the showers that were out there at least trying to go up overnight, those have fallen apart. Now we're seeing more of that sun out there mixed in with cloud cover at times. 52 is where the temperature does stand for us. You plan out the day. We're going to be warming things up into the low 70s. Any cloud cover this morning replaced with more of that sunshine into the afternoon as well. But rain chances do come our way tonight. So you get through about the next 20 hours and we should start to see those raindrops developing here in Wisconsin and that'll take us into a good portion of your Wednesday as well. The next rain chance that I'm watching after that Friday, a little bit of a lower chance at the moment, but I've been looking at model data and I may be needing to boost that chance for your showers on Friday. I'm also watching traffic for you this morning and I will tell you most of the highways around Dane County are doing in good shape, but of course we do have that incident that our McKenna Alexander has been at on the west side. This is creating delays between D'Onofrio and Gasner if you're traveling on Mineral Point Road. So if Mineral Point Road is a big part of your commute, change that today. Just go all the way around if you can, especially over by that side of town. This is near Tree Lane, near the quick trip over there that I believe is closed due to this incident as well. So do keep that in mind. Rock County, I am happy to say that things are all smooth for you this morning. I'm not seeing any major delays as you are out and about. It is, what day is it? Tuesday, Wednesday? It's a day of the week. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Let's make it a good one. Tuesday it is. Chris yep. Reese, thank you very much.
All right, looking ahead for iPhone users, some really interesting stuff coming out of yesterday's annual developer conference. iOS 16 is coming out. It's got some new features, including the ability to edit or unsend iMessages. You'll also be able to personalize your lock screen, both with wallpaper and live updates. Maybe if you're tracking an Uber ride or watching a football game. Did you see the edit it made from Babe to Gabe? Hey, Babe. Okay. Can you send me the... <laughs> Classic. I always meant Gabe. Gabe. Babe. Sometimes you never know like what those little autocorrect things are going to do. They kind of get you. I do go really fast yes. and always, always have a spelling error in there because There's of that autocorrect. There's always something. I like it. Well, continuing coverage this morning to JetBlue's push to buy Spirit Airlines. The company is now increasing its price to do so. Last month, Spirit rejected an offer from JetBlue, saying it didn't think government regulators would approve the deal. They moved ahead with a merge with fellow budget airline Frontier instead. JetBlue raising the terms of its deal this week that could greatly benefit shareholders. Spirit's board is considering the proposal. 620 right now is your time. Coming up in trending after the break, a young boy living out his dream of being a UPS driver. The video you just have to see this morning. That'll cheer you right up today. And in our next half hour, not exactly cheering you up, those record gas prices. How close we are to five bucks a gallon here in Wisconsin. Stay with us. This portion of News 3 Now is brought to you by Shopco Optical. It's a short drive to big adventure at the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in the Port of Dubuque. General admission gets you access to all exhibits for two consecutive days. Plan your adventure at rivermuseum.com. McGann Furniture in downtown Baraboo should probably be called McGann Furniture and Flooring because we're the area's oldest and most experienced floor covering store. Our friendly staff will explain the many types of flooring available, answer questions, and make suggestions so you can choose what's best for your home and lifestyle. We always offer free in-home measurements and estimates and use the finest installers in the entire area. And remember, at McGann's, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. Stop in today and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. When President Trump called for a southern border wall, I didn't just agree. I built him a prototype. Tim Michaels, endorsed by President Trump. Now, instead of building the wall, Joe Biden's rolling out the red carpet for illegal immigrants. Totally, completely, utterly incompetent. Conservative Tim Michaels, endorsed by President Trump. For illegals, no driver's license, no benefits, no tuition. There's nothing racist about enforcing our laws. And when I'm governor, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Grammy winning songs, the Tony winning moves, Ain't Too Proud, the life and times of the Temptations. At Overture Center, June 14th through 19th. Tickets at Overture.org. For over 50 years, Purina Cat Chow has been helping cats feel at home with trusted nutrition. No wonder it's the number one dry cat food in America. Come home to Cat Chow. Sex trafficking is happening right here in Madison. Many wonder how or if it can be prevented. It's complex. Often someone does not realize what's happening until they are really stuck and are not allowed out. It often starts with someone who showers you with attention and may seem the answer to all of your dreams until they're not. Red flags may include wanting to take care of you and impress you with their success and shower you with gifts or money, moving fast toward a romantic relationship, isolating you from friends and family, wanting to take you away on a trip, being vague about how they make their money, and working or taking calls at odd hours. You may notice a lot of young people hanging around, or drug use. Then, they start making you feel like you owe them something in return, and don't give you a choice. Learn more at unitedmadison.com slash traffic. Brought to you by United Madison in partnership with Collaboration Project. It's time to get up close and personal with nature while getting hands-on with science. Make plans to visit the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in the Port of Dubuque, Iowa for new exhibits, new films, and new experiences. We're back at 623 right now. Linda sharing these, uh, this photo with us this morning. Take a look at the coloring there. It's like those pastel colors, the pink, kind of some purple, some bluish in there. It's stunning. She tweeted this at us yesterday, I believe. Uh, 
made my day, that's for sure. Hey, really easy to do. So all she did is she tweeted at us using the hashtag MyNewsStreamMorning. We love photos like this. Mm -hmm. You know, yesterday we had the, uh, what were those mushrooms called again? Golden, the golden oysters. oysters. Yeah. How, How could, could you I forget, forget that? <laughs> Every day is a little bit something different, so tomorrow we'll be surprised with something new. The, the way we all said that in unison. Golden, <laughs> golden oysters. Can't forget the golden oysters, oh my boys. Goodness. Yeah. All right, thanks for sharing, Linda. Please send us your photos again using that hashtag, MyNews3Morning. 624 now trending this morning. A seven-year-old boy with Down syndrome is living out his dream of becoming a UPS driver. All right, cuteness overload right here. Mm -hmm. You need to check this out this morning. Drew is a huge fan of UPS. He even went as a driver for Halloween. His mom says the superpower is bringing joy to others. We love to see it. UPS helped Drew live out his dream in Sacramento, taking him to school in a miniature UPS truck decorated with flames and filled with packages for all of his classmates. Cutest UPS driver Look I've ever that. seen. That's so adorable. Honey. Helping out there. Oh, if that doesn't cheer you up on this Tuesday, nothing will. That's the video you need to see, right? Good things happening out there. Good people sharing the love. Hey, this might cheer you up too. The weather, not so bad today. No, not at all. Yesterday, we had a lot of that rain as you were headed out the door. Today, not the case. Again, one of the last bus stop forecasts of the year. More clouds this morning than we'll see this afternoon. Temperature is going to be topping out into the low 70s. And I'm pretty sure that we have a lot less people going to school at this point because a lot of people wrapped up in Madison yesterday, uh, even though the official school year still goes until Thursday at this point. Any of that rain that you saw on Doppler track, it did. It never made it to the ground, so that is completely dry. Now, what you're saying to the east and back to the west, yeah, that still has some shower activity that's making it to the ground. And what you're seeing over Minnesota will become our next rain chance that arrives this time tomorrow. That'll impact your morning commute then. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. Coming up on 626 right now as we go to break. We'll take another live look at the scene of that breaking news, Madison's West Side. Our McKenna Alexander learning some new information. She'll share that with us when we come back. Stay with us. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When the family can't get enough of your signature dish, get everything you need with Pick and Save Free Pickup with no surprise fees. So start your cart today. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Shop with the fan experts at Madison Lighting to choose a quality fan that really cools your space. Indoors or out, and you'll love the chic way it looks. All fans are on sale till June 20th at Madison Lighting on Watts Road. I'm with Paul Delahunt, president of Renewal by Anderson. So, Paul, how do you know your Fibrex window is going to hold up over time? Well, Dean is the full-service replacement division of Anderson. Longevity is in our DNA. But last year, we conducted a long-term durability study. After two decades, our windows were as easy to open and close as the day they were installed. If you're looking for a replacement window solution that's going to last, look no further than Renewal by Anderson. Call now to schedule your free in-home consultation and take advantage of this limited-time offer. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. Contact Culligan, your local water expert. 
When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. An air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible, so call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Save app, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales, all for prices that are lower than low. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. Breaking this morning, we have new updates to a crash on Madison's west side that could be impacting your travel route this morning. Plus, gas prices on the rise. Just how high we've gone in the last month and how far away we are from $5 a gallon. And wild police chase ending with numerous people injured in eastern Wisconsin. The aftermath caught on camera. Plus, we are getting you out the door this morning. We're going to be drier today than yesterday. That may not last all that long, though. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now this morning. We start with breaking news on Madison's west side and new information just into the newsroom. A crash has parts of Mineral Point Road blocked off at this hour. McKenna Alexander has been there all morning long during News 3 Now this morning, but she has an update for us right now, McKenna. Yeah, UT right now, Gansner and Frio are still closed, so take note of that if you take those routes to work this morning. As far as your information, the tent behind me has been cleared. Now, medical examiner was here earlier. She's now packed up. We did see a car drive by that did have a license plate indicating Crest Funeral Home, and a body was placed in the back of that car just about 15 minutes ago. As far as cleanup, we did see an officer come out just a bit ago with a drone kit indicating they're going to be taking more shots of the scene. Now, there are still plenty of evidence markers need to be picked up. You can see here one of there's a bike in the median we're not sure if it's a motorized bike or not but that also has an evidence marker in front of it so it's related to the scene in some way now there's still a lot we're waiting on to be confirmed of course as we get more information we'll be updating you both on news 3 now as well as over on at channel 3000.com mckenna alexander has been on the scene all morning long mckenna thank you for all of those updates to our other top story this morning, gas prices keep getting higher. Today, the state average is $4.89. That's already $0.09 cents in a single day. The national average is now just $0.09 cents from reaching $5 a gallon. In Dane County, prices have gone up $0.70 cents in the last month and almost $2 per gallon from last year. Clearly, these numbers are having an impact on drivers everywhere. Longtime Madison area gas station owner Mike Severson started selling gas when pumps physically couldn't go above a dollar a gallon. He's seen this pricey gas get to people before. Uh, I believe it was 08 when we hit four bucks a gallon. Uh, that was when we finally went prepay too, because it was getting, I'll never forget, I grabbed a guy and got dragged down the road to Halloween at five o'clock, because he was trying to escape without paying for it. Severson sold off the fuel portion of his business, but he knows gas stations make a lot more money off of other products. When people skip the gas station altogether, owners lose out as well. And you're likely not the only person starting to rethink your habits because of those prices. Unfortunately, the best way to save on gas is to simply drive less. Do you find yourself driving less? Like I do. Oh my gosh, yeah, for sure. Because I used to just drive anywhere, like just kind of go for a drive. I don't do that at all. I only go from here to home, work, and that's it. Yeah. Keeping up on your car's maintenance also helps it run smoother and helps you save on gas. 632 right now, Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes is speaking out about the car that was stolen Sunday that had a disabled person inside of it. Authorities arrested the man who allegedly stole the car. The person's caregiver got out of the vehicle to get some food and left the engine running when a 43-year-old man got into the vehicle and drove off. There must have been some moment of humility when he decided that if he needed to discard him, he would do it at a safe place, which is at the hospital. Um, and so we do know that, but being under the influence of drugs and alcohol uh, certainly did not help the situation. 
Police located the vehicle about 45 minutes later and arrested the man after he pulled into the University Hospital parking lot. The person inside was not hurt. The suspect faces potential charges of false imprisonment, first offense OWI, and operating a vehicle without the owner's consent. The 19-year-old charged in the deadly shooting outside of Beloit High School in January will have his initial court appearance today. Amory Goodall was arrested in late March in Michigan when he was extradited back to Rock County. He now faces first-degree reckless homicide charges for shooting and killing 19-year-old John Broomfield. Today's appearance will be over Zoom. New this morning, one person is dead and several others in the hospital after a car and UTV crashed in Jefferson County. The sheriff there says it happened just before 5 o'clock last night south of Waterloo on Highway 89. One person in the UTV died at the scene. The other rider was taken by med flight. Two people in the car were also taken to the hospital. Police in Beloit are dealing with what they're calling a rash of auto thefts over the past several days. They say thieves are specifically targeting Kia and Hyundai vehicles because of their anti-theft devices. They sometimes have issues that make it easier to take them. In a Facebook post, police say these cars are being stolen from area apartment complexes. Officers have arrested some suspects, mostly young adults and juveniles, but they are still looking for others. Just about 635 right now on a Tuesday morning. Chris Reese keeping an eye on your certified most accurate forecast. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. It's a mix of sun and clouds so far, but I do expect sunshine to take over as we start to move into the rest of your afternoon. Here's a live look outside now. The sun is up, but you do have a layer of cloud cover in play right now, creating a little bit of a mostly cloudy look for now. 52 is where our temperature does stand. Wisconsin and Dells. Good morning. It is 51 for you. Janesville Beloit 57 is the temperature there. 54 for Watertown Juno. Double nickels for our friends in Monroe this morning. But temperatures over the next 12 hours are going to be warming up. We're in the mid 50s now. I'm expecting temperatures to top out into the lower 70s through those highs later on this afternoon. And again, that's going to come with even more sun than what we do have out there now. So this is why I want you to grab those sunglasses as you do head out the door. The umbrella you can hold off on. You'll need it tomorrow, but you can hold off on for now. And temperatures are comfortable, so the jacket or a coat not necessarily needed as you begin to step out. But here's our setup. We are still unsettled overall. One area of low pressure now to the east. Still some weak disturbances back towards the west. Those weak disturbances start to move in towards tomorrow. So all these showers that you see to the west, give it 24 hours. They're going to be redeveloping right on top of us here in south central Wisconsin. In fact, here's future track. Here's how it begins to play out. This is lunchtime today. We're still dry. Temperatures are in the upper 60s and low 70s. Low 70s is where we top out. Now it's the overnight hours. 930 tonight. Here comes some initial showers back towards the west. Perhaps they fall apart, but then tomorrow 630 in the morning, we're starting off your commute. So truly 24 hours from now that rain's developing right on top of us and pushing through as that commute gets going. So plan ahead for this. If you've been thinking about rain Xing your windshield wipe or your windshield or your windshield wipers are a little dull and you've been thinking about getting new ones. Today's going to be a good opportunity to do that because you'll need them for the morning commute tomorrow. By noon, most of that's out of here. Some spotty showers, isolated thunderstorms are going to be possible into the rest of your afternoon and evening. Thursday, look at the sunshine. Friday, another chance of rain this weekend. Spectacular grad parties, graduations going on this weekend. The weather should be fantastic for them. Rain does arrive again by Monday and Tuesday next week. Temperature is going to be warming up. Yeah, after last weekend, I think a lot of folks are looking forward to drier weather this weekend. <laughs> understandably, understandably so. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. 637, seven people, including two police officers, are injured after a wild chase ended with two crashes in Milwaukee. A bystander caught this video of the aftermath from the crash that happened uh, near Teutonia and Capitol Streets. Milwaukee police say they began the chase after they tried to pull over a car with no license plates for reckless driving, but they fled. There was a lot of us out here, including people jumping out their cars and coming from everywhere. That witness said that bystanders helped the injured out of their cars and performed life-saving measures after the crash. The driver, though, continued for a few blocks after the first crash before running into two other vehicles at this location. Another bystander in critical condition this morning after being injured. The two others were taken to the hospital and will be okay. 
Two people involved in the crash brought themselves to the hospital and have been treated. Team USA has its first win here in Madison in the Under-18 Women's Ice Hockey World Championship. The competition features the top eight women's hockey teams from around the world. It was supposed to take place in January in Sweden, but it had to be moved and rescheduled due to COVID. The teams featuring 16 through 18 year olds will compete for medals at Laban Arena on campus and at the Capital Ice Arena in Middleton. Ultimately, they ended up selecting Madison, not only because of our great facilities that we have here in Madison capable of hosting these events, but I really think it's the 50th year of Title IX. We're excited about that and that landmark legislation to help women and girls participate in sports. The score for last night's win for USA, 6-1 to one against Sweden. They'll be playing Finland tonight at Le Bon at 8 p.m. Well, June is dairy month here in Wisconsin, a time to celebrate all things milk and cheese. According to the most recent stats from the State Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection, the dairy industry itself contributes $45.6 billion to the state's economy each year. 6,000 dairy farms here in the state alone. Of those 6,000, 95% are family owned, so it's important to support local. So if you are um, grocery shopping and you're and you're out and about, look for those products that say they're proudly Wisconsin, which means they're proudly Wisconsin dairy or proudly Wisconsin cheese, and you know that you are supporting our local dairy farmers. You can also support farmers during Dairy Month by getting the whole family involved. All you have to do is visit wisconsindairy.org and click Dairy Month. You'll find over 80 family-friendly events throughout June, and more than 60 of them take place right on a dairy farm. All right, time right now, just about 6.40 this morning. We continue to follow that breaking news that might impact your morning commute. It's at Mineral Point and High Point Roads. A live report with the latest information we're just learning here this morning when we come back. Plus, how gas prices are now impacting the sale of bicycles in Wisconsin. Stay with us. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, believing a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. Transform your home with 11% off everything at Menards. Clearview is the customizable cabinetry system that gives you more style, more storage, and more function. Create a custom cabinet configuration styled by you. Create your dream kitchen with 11% off Clearview cabinetry. Add privacy and style to any room with window images, window treatments. Get your blinds and shades trimmed to width in the store for free. Get 11% off all window treatments now at Menards. Save big we got to see this selection for ourselves. Tile, wood, stone, laminate, and vinyl? This hardwood is beautiful. This vinyl is durable. And this tile? Huh, so affordable. But when it comes to everything our family needs, this one is perfect. perfect. Now this store is the real deal. At Floor & Decor, there's plenty of room to explore. Because with everyday low pricing on quality in-stock products and on-trend styles, you can really bring your living room to life. Discover Floor & Decor today. Everything's so expensive, it's stretching our family thin. It never used to be like this. It's tougher on us to make ends meet because America's too dependent on China. And Ron Johnson's making it worse. He voted against cracking down on China with tougher trade deals and voted for tax breaks to corporations shipping jobs overseas and even refused to punish China when it manipulates its currency. And Ron Johnson even defended shipping American jobs overseas. Senator Johnson, stop making it easier on China and tougher on us. Raising healthy children takes a village, and kids thrive when their village is healthy too. SSM Health and News 3 Now are helping you unlock a healthier world with our Time for Kids Keys to Health campaign. We'll show you how sustainable choices create healthier lifestyles, explore the impacts of food security on families, and share ways we can help build a healthy community together. So join us on air, online, and in your village. And take time for kids. The News 3 Now Call for Action team, getting results for you. When a local woman was taken advantage of by a car dealership, we took action and helped her get back nearly $10,000. After going through you, it's just like, you can breathe. Call for Action, only on News 3 Now. 
We're hitting the greens for the Geo's Garden Golf Classic. Join News 3 now, June 13th at Hawks Landing Golf Course. Proceeds help bring vital respite services to area special needs families. Register now at geosgarden.org. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 now this morning. Welcome back. We've seen a lot of statewide candidates in Wisconsin head to farms this year. It's not random, but a strategy entirely by design. Rural Wisconsin has been a focal point for Democratic candidates, both with the history of farming, but it can also be a key swing area of the state if they want to take back a U.S. Senate seat. Our political reporter, Will Keneally, has that story. The rain held off for a little bit on the Paris farm outside of Belleville, which Bert Paris was happy to see. A little warmth now, a little more rain, and <clears throat> things, are, things are bouncing back for us. So. He's owned his organic grass-fed dairy operation for the past 30 years, which today played host to a U.S. Senate campaign with Democratic candidate Sarah Godlewski. That's my favorite color! Though a long way from Washington, Paris says farmers like him could use help on a couple of issues, one being price and supply control. The other is uh, climate change. Uh, just because the climate is affecting the way we farm a little bit. You know, we have to change things and it's, it's not always the easiest. So climate change is a big deal for me. That's something Godlewski has heard before. And they're trying to understand, is this our new normal? Right. So should right. we actually change to something else? Godlewski wants Wisconsin to have more of a voice and a seat at the table for ag policy. What are opportunities where we, for example, can leverage the farm bill to reward practices like regenerative and sustainable farming? And this comes as other candidates are looking to engage rural Wisconsin voters. Our family farms are the backbone of this state and an integral part of our history, our economy, and our communities. Mandela Barnes is also in the race for Senate. He just finished up a Barnes for Barnes campaign and released the endorsement of a coalition of Wisconsin farmers last week. There's still so much more work that we need to do to make sure that the farm bill actually benefits our small family farms uh, instead of the big corporate monopolies. <coughs> That was our Will Keneally reporting. Both Barnes and Godlewski face a slate of other Democratic candidates in the August 9th primary. The winner will face incumbent Republican Ron Johnson in November. All right, out west now. Severe drought is causing serious issues for major industries that could impact your grocery store prices here in the Midwest. California's $900 million salmon industry is currently in jeopardy because of the drought. Some lawmakers there want to allocate $1.5 billion in taxpayer money to buy out farmers who use a lot of water to help save wildlife. The salmon industry in California is one of those rare industries that actually relies on a natural product that needs to be sustainably managed. Skeptics worry farmers selling their land with private water on it will hurt their crops and drive up prices at the grocery store even more. Well, if rising gas prices have motivated you to stretch your mileage, you could try pedal power. Since the pandemic started, a growing number of people have invested in a bike. The owner of Smith's Bike Shop in La Crosse says he hasn't seen a spike in gas price related sales yet, but if it happens, it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, I'm sure one of the Gulf Wars, when they spiked way up over $3 way back then, that was pretty high. And uh, we saw a lot of bicycle repair business come in, people getting their bikes out of the sheds and, you know, getting them fixed and, um, so that they are able to ride those short distances. He expects his sales to rise and prices in lacrosse top $5 a gallon. All right, check this out. This is a pretty neat story. Centuries old shipwrecks complete with gold coin treasures have been discovered off the coast of Colombia. One is believed to be a Spanish colonial era boat, the other from the time of Colombia's War of Independence from Spain some 200 years ago. New images of the shipwreck revealed those gold coins, cannons, and other antique items. How neat. That is so crazy, isn't Real life that? pirate discovery. You never know what you're gonna find. Very All cool. Right. Chris Reese here now with your certified most accurate forecast, keeping an eye on Doppler track this morning. Hi, Chris. Yeah, we are. Doppler track generally fairly quiet for us this morning. A couple sprinkles tried to get going earlier, but they never really made it to the ground. Otherwise, it's just a mix of sun and clouds today. We'll see even more sun this afternoon than what we've dealt with earlier on. We're between systems right now. The one from yesterday to our east, the next one starting to develop back towards the west. That's
that's going to move in overnight tonight and into early tomorrow. But by Wednesday, I mean, that could bring a decent amount of rain here to parts of the state. By Friday, another rainmaker starts to move through, and then we'll see another rainmaker try to get going as we move towards Sunday and then into early next week as well. None of these appear to be washouts, but it's all just enough to keep things unsettled. So that being said, your best rain chances right now, tonight and tomorrow, scattered, but that might get pushed up into the widespread category. I'll really have to watch that as we go through the next couple of hours. Friday night into Saturday, that might need a boost towards scattered instead of a stray shower. So we're, of course, going to keep a very close eye on all of the rain chances out there as we go through the week. All right. Chris Reese, thank you very much. 648 coming up in the morning sprint, an update on that breaking news of a crash on Madison's west side. But if you have a little kid turning three soon, please let us know if we uh, can show their picture on TV. We appreciate you watching every morning here. News for now this morning. We'll be back right after this. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Ubrel-V helps you fight migraine attacks. You do it all. One dose of Ubrel-V quickly stops migraine in its tracks within two hours. Do not take with strong CYP384 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Ask about Ubrel-V anytime, anywhere, migraine medicine. Shop with the fan experts at Madison Lighting to choose a quality fan that really cools your space. Indoors or out, and you'll love the chic way it looks. All fans are on sale till June 20th at Madison Lighting on Watts Road. It's Terrific Tuesdays at High V. This Tuesday, get family size Kellogg cereal, only $2.99. Jimmy Dean bacon, only $2.99. Gatorade 8 packs, only $3.99. And Dole Iceberg lettuce, only 88 cents. Tuesday only. For more ways to save on hundreds of items every day at High V, check out our monthly catalog, our weekly ad, and scan the QR code to visit HyVDeals.com for even more deals. Hey, everybody, who's coming to the big show? It's Saturday, Saturday, June 11th at Ho-Chunk Gaming and Casino in Wisconsin Dells, an all-day outdoor event. Come out for classic cars, trucks, and motorcycles during the day and stay for the concert at night. Featuring country superstar Trace Atkins, Runaway Jew, The Mascot Theory, and Beth Killy all benefiting heat and housing for heroes. Visit VetAWI.com for details and to purchase tickets for Trace Atkins. Grammy winning songs, the Tony winning moves, Ain't Too Proud, the life and times of the Temptations, at Overture Center June 14 through 19, tickets at Overture.org. Here's why it's smart to custom order your Ford SUV, because custom orders receive priority. You'll get an extra 1,000 order bonus plus incentive protection, guaranteeing you the best offer now or at delivery. And the features you choose. Want an EPA estimated 41 combined MPG in an Escape Hybrid? A 12-inch touchscreen in an Edge? You got it. Choose Flex Buy on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% financing for 66 months plus 1,000 retail order cash. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. Experience handcrafted and hand-finished furniture by genuine Amish craftsmen at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Featuring hardwood made in the USA home furnishings by Simply Amish and other great brands you can trust. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Channel 3000 Plus. Watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. 652, time for the morning sprint. We start with new information just into the newsroom on that breaking news on the west side. Our crew out on the scene with some new information. Let's take a live look right now. Our crew just spoke with officers who told us that this was a deadly crash. Uh, a man in his early 30s was hit by a car. There is an arrest in this case. That suspect is facing charges of homicide with intoxicated use of a vehicle. 
The scene is expected to be cleared in about two hours, but right now portions of Mineral Point Road are closed. You're going to want to take it slow if you're in that neck of the woods or try to avoid it. We're going to continue to have continuing coverage on this here on News 3 Now and over on Channel3000.com. Beloit police say they have arrested a man after he allegedly shot a man last week. They say the 28-year-old faces tentative charges of first degree recklessly endangering safety. According to officers, a man was shot at just before 7 p.m. on May 31st, but the victim was not heard. The man in custody also faces charges for being a felon in possession of a firearm. Lawmakers in Washington say they are close to a deal on legislation addressing gun violence. It could come as soon as this week. A bipartisan group of senators are working on a proposal that includes enhanced background checks, new incentives for states with red flag laws, and investments in school safety and mental health. The downtown Madison building that houses Paisan's restaurant being ordered to close for a third time now due to structural concerns. The city said the closure of the building at 131 West Wilson Street comes after the building's owners failed to comply with conditions saying they didn't submit inspection and monitoring reports to certify the safety of the building. The owners have filed a demolition permit to tear the building down. The Justice Department has charged the head of the Proud Boys, Enrique Tarrio, and four other leaders with seditious conspiracy following that January 6th U.S. Capitol attack. These are the most aggressive charges brought by the Justice Department against the Proud Boys. They are the first allegations by prosecutors that the group tried to oppose by force the presidential transfer of power. Police officers and firefighters were on scene at a Madison Elementary School yesterday for a really special event, a positive one. Madison's Black Police Officer Coalition and Sable Flames, a local nonprofit pioneered by black firefighters, went to Glenn Stevens Elementary yesterday. They met with students in a comfortable environment, their classroom. Due to their chaotic schedules, officers and firefighters don't usually have time to interact with kids in their communities. Yesterday, the kids got to ask the questions. Some Prairie is changing the narrative by hosting a new kind of signing day celebration for a pair of graduating seniors. Braden Strong and Andrew Dome took part in a career signing day event. The two have been working for Findorf on building the new Sun Prairie West High School for the past couple of years. Their signatures now transition them into carpenter apprenticeships. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has survived a confidence vote by members of his own party, but his margin of victory was lower than supporters expected. 41% of his party voted against him during the vote. Now, they can't call a vote of confidence against him for at least another year. Today, the Food and Drug Administration will discuss an emergency use authorization request from Novavax for its coronavirus vaccine. The company's jab uses traditional technology, unlike the mRNA shots from Pfizer and Moderna. If the FDA gives the okay, it may still be a while before the Novavax vaccine is available. The CDC has yet to schedule a meeting of its advisors for final approval. One of the two teams playing for the Stanley Cup is now settled. The Colorado Avalanche swept the series against the Edmonton Oilers to advance. They won last night 6-5 to five in overtime to wrap up the series. Now they wait for the winner between the New York Rangers and Tampa Bay Lightning. Currently, the Rangers lead 2-1. to one. Doppler track is quiet for us this morning. We're overall going to expect a quiet day. Showers back towards the west are going to be making their way into the picture overnight into tomorrow, becoming our next rain chance here in southern Wisconsin. We are dealing with a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures are going to be warming up into the lower 70s So your highs later on this afternoon. You'll see more sun this afternoon as opposed to some of that cloud cover that we are seeing this morning. Rain chances tomorrow, dry and sun on Thursday morning more rain chances by Friday. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. My pleasure. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. Again, we're following that breaking news, that incident on Madison's west side. Stay with channel3000.com for updates.